Hi guys, my name is Turner and this is my investigative art project. Art has the power to record the lives of the rich, the poor, and everyone in between. It is a tool many use to show their own realities and the daily struggles they've encountered. For my project, I chose to dive into a piece by Diego Rivera that he created in 1935. The painting is 48 by 47 and 3 fourths inches. The medium used to create it was oil and tempura on masonite. This image is depicting a man struggling on all fours carrying an oversized basket on his back. In the basket, we see it holds vibrant flowers of pinks and red. Presumably, it is his wife helping him support the large basket. The man and woman represent the working class at that time. Diego wisely uses bright colors, shadows, and light to make the man, basket, and woman catch our eye. While the flowers are beautiful to those viewing, the hardworking man is still never able to see them. Yet he knows they hold value because in order to make money for his family, he needs to sell them to upper class citizens. Rivera had a concern for the working class and was able to portray the hardship of their life. In the Encyclopedia of Mexico, covering history, society, and culture, writer Eli Barta states that Rivera viewed his art as mi arte, mi vida, translating to my art, my life. With this statement, we recognize that his artwork is authentic. According to an article, the message being portrayed in the flower carrier are the burdens of being an unskilled worker under capitalism. Diego Rivera masterfully used his talent to show the discrimination in society and the uneven distribution of wealth. For my comparative piece, I chose Migrant Mother by Dorothea Lange. From the book Exploring Art, a global thematic approach. This piece was created in 1936. The medium for this work is Gleaton silver print. This photograph is one of the most famous from the Great Depression. In the struggling time, many farmers were unable to provide for themselves or their families. Migrant Mother is a black and white image illustrating a mother that is worn down and her children sinking into her shoulders beside her. The photographer revealed the harsh truth of the pea picker's life at that moment in time. Dorothea Lang and Diego Rivera share the similarity of creating art that relates to the poor and laboring classes during the 20th century. Both Lang and Rivera are able to shed light to the world on the conditions of the workers. For my second comparative work, I chose Leo. 48 inches high, 8 years old, picks up bobbins at 15 cents a day by Lewis Hine. The photo displays a young, barefoot boy in a factory. Children in the labor force typically worked for 10 to 12 hours a day. The image was photographed in 1910. During the early decades of the 20th century, social activism and political reforms were happening across the country. Many people, including Lewis Hine, worked to change the conditions people lived and worked in. In later years, strict child labor laws were put into action. In relation to Rivera's work, Hines depicted the discrimination against children being used in the labor force. I like to the peasant man carrying a considerably large basket and works for his family. Children often work to support theirs as well. The composition brings to the surface the brutality of living in a poverty-struck in time. Louis Hine and Diego Rivera greatly influenced and changed the world by making social and political statements through visual art. Through the flower carrier, migrant mother, and Leo, we said that the use of art to express thoughts and feelings towards specific social and political events are effective. Each piece is individualized for the struggles happening at that particular time. With Diego Rivera expressing his feelings towards working under capitalism, and Dorothea Lang 
capturing just a moment from the Great Depression, and Lewis Hine going behind scenes to snap shot children in the labor force, we see a strong use of using art as a power tool to show the discrimination in society and uneven distribution in wealth. On this slide is my work cited, and thank you for listening.